Hi, my name is Johan de Villiers. I'm the Managing Director for AVB in Singapore. Well, my hope and my strong belief is that the focus on sustainable infrastructure would accelerate. Uh, infrastructure development is a great way to use stimulus money and to create much needed jobs. And if anything, um, COVID-19 has underscored the importance of infrastructure that is resilient, that is sustainable, and that supports quality of life in its fullest sense for all people. Uh, we see in every corner around the world that there's a groundswell of voices from business, from government, and from society, all calling for greater sustainability in the way we run the world, and specifically uh, the infrastructure that we use to do that. Well, the um, industrial and manufacturing sectors have been impacted uh, by disruptions mainly in their supply chains, in customer demand, and also the ability to deploy resources in their facilities. I would say in, in these sectors, it's not so much about new trends that are emerging, but rather um, a revolution that started long before this crisis that is accelerating. And uh, this is, of course, the fourth industrial revolution. And while there's many aspects to this revolution, we see um, there's a marked increase in two specific areas. And the first area is remote connectivity and industrial digitalization, um, mainly to drive productivity. And this technology enables specialists to work with site-based staff um, from anywhere in the world, having the right data and the right insights at their fingertips with which they can support things like maintenance and repair work, um, operational improvements, even plant reconfiguration and expansions from wherever they are. And then the second uh, trend that we see is a drive to increase flexibility and responsiveness of factories. And this is done by advanced factory automation. And here the idea is to use software and use robotic automation to make production lines much more responsive to changes both in demand and supply by enabling production lines uh, to handle more variations but also by making production lines easier to reconfigure when there's completely new products that has to be supplied without making the equipment obsolete. Well the main thing is for ASEAN leaders to unite in their response uh, to this pandemic. Southeast Asia is a very large domestic economy and I think with the diversity and the strengths that we have in, uh, in the ASEAN member states, intra-region trade is the region's greatest opportunity for an initial recovery. And I believe all the practical measures to unlock the full potential of regional trade, uh, such as removing non-tariff barriers to trade or to enable fully the digital economy, would also be the things that make ASEAN a much more attractive place for foreign investments and as a trading block. Um, this crisis is a once in a lifetime opportunity to bring together the best of ASEAN to serve the greater good of the people of ASEAN and we should not waste it.